Well, good day. It's uh, Dean from In His Image Ministries, normally f coming to you from Durban, South Africa. Uh, today I'm visiting my daughter in Rutherglen in Scotland. And uh, this morning I took a walk around the general area and was just walking in his spirit and observing the people and the closed businesses, small businesses, and having a look at the church buildings. I walked past rather old stately bull, uh, church building, still in use apparently, but showing signs of disrepair, one of those old graveyards. And as I was standing there, I was thinking of um, Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, and those people lying in the ground waiting for the day that his voice will call them forth into their resurrected bodies. And I was drawn to one building that must have been a church and had been turned into some offices, and you could see the remnants of a once proud build, uh, building made of stone and thinking about there are no more living stones there and as I was in the spirit I, I asked the Lord I said Father can they live again can your breath breathe on them and cause them to rise and the image in my mind was those belly of bones and I was overcome by the emotion of it and, uh, but I felt the Lord was saying yes son they can live again and my breath can come upon them again and those souls that were in a sense wandering around not knowing their left hand from their right hand. And their eyes are, are empty in a sense, without purpose in the world and breathing and dying. And uh, later on I went walking again with my daughter and I started to dwell on the words of the Lord that says, as in the days of Noah, so shall it be when he returns. And I know that most people read that as doom and gloom. Uh, they think he's talking about the state of wickedness in the earth. And, and of course that's possible. But as I was dwelling on a different interpretation came to me in line with the sense that rushed on me when I was looking at the church converted into business. You see, Noah's flood drowned out wickedness, the fallen man without hope of God but 2,000 years ago, the Son of Man came and he drowned the world in his blood and he provided a way for wickedness and corruption to be defeated and the goodness of God to be poured out on the earth. And so the feeling in my spirit is that the floods of God or the rain of heaven. And just as they rain for 40 days and 40 nights without ceasing, and just as the artesian wells burst forth from beneath the earth and flooded the earth, my sense is, yes, the old man will die, the natural man will die. He will be put to death under the floods of God's mercy. 
And just as God has at times and in sundry places moved, and dead men became flesh, and hearts that were stone cold became alive, God's promise still stands, and He is going to show us a greatest outpouring of heavenly rain and the bursting forth of the Tesian wells of His Spirit into the earth, and the earth will be covered with His glory. And the dead shall hear His voice, the dead in their flesh shall rather hear His voice, and they will rise. And that old corrupted image will die, put away in the flooding of God's mercy, in the tide of His glory. And it won't just touch Scotland, won't just touch South Africa. It'll cover the whole earth. And so, who would want to leave the planet? Who would think that they need to escape? It isn't God's wrath that's coming. It's the greatest display of His mercy. It's the greatest display of His grace. We have these voices that say the age of grace is closing. What? Not without the greatest harvest that God Himself will call in. You chew on that. We ain't escaping. We're about to experience a living God, a living outpouring, when all of heaven will rain on us and all of the wells and all of the fountains of the deep will break forth in God's love and mercy and grace. Wow. Wow. Our hearts should be filled with expectation. Our hearts should be filled with the manifestation. The sons of the living God are being born all over the world. And when their voices lift up a cry, the fountains of the deep will burst open wide and floods of God's mercy will flow, such as we've never seen nor ever witnessed. No, a great harvest is coming. A great reaping is coming. And those who are wandering around not knowing their left from their right and living without hope, who've been cut off by the devil from knowing the greatest love of them all, the greatest hope of a future, has not forgotten them has not abandoned them, has not left his plans unfulfilled. But he is coming. 